your crazy bag go shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, finally, the Hawkeye show is here and we are going to be doing a double reaction to episode one and episode two of the show. Now, I think a lot of people are very excited and sort of surprised by how exciting this show does look. Um, I obviously didn't do a reaction to the trailer because it came out super late at night and I've been busy again with uni. So at the time, it was in the middle of the first week and I was like dead on my feet and I was like, I'm going to have to give it a skip. <laughs> but um, now we're here and I'm going to do a reaction to the episodes and obviously every week release a reaction to the episodes as they come out. Um, and I'm super excited for this show. Because obviously in the movies we didn't have a lot of sort of focus on Hawkeye and I'm so glad that we're getting a show focused on him but also Kate Bishop because obviously there is a rumor a lot of people are talking about it about Young Avengers and I would love for that to happen that would be so cool and to bring a new generation of Avengers into the world obviously Young Avengers it would be great and I'm excited to see what comes out of that if it does happen, I'm praying that it does, and I think it is gonna happen. With how things are turning out, it would be pretty awesome to see them in the universe. Anyway, um, not much has sort of been given away about this show, only for the fact that sort of Clint has to return back to his family before Christmas happens, and he is out of retirement, um, so he's back in the action. Um, from the trailer, it sort of reminded me a little bit of James Bond, a little bit, but also, like, sort of spy crime films, sort of, like, in hiding, but also a little bit of comedy mixed in. Um, so I'm very excited to see sort of, like, where this goes, and who it involves in, obviously, um, what's her name? I'm trying to remember. Um, I think it's Florence Power. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. The one who's in Black Widow, who's like the sister to Natasha. Rumor has it that she is going to be in this show. And also a massive rumor that is going around, especially to sort of coincide with the whole Daredevil rumor that's going to happen in the new Spider-Man film, is that Kingpin will return or will be seen in this sort of show. Um, because it is, I think it's based obviously in New York and it's based obviously in sort of like that area of where he works in. So I was like, that would be pretty sick. But... We don't know yet. <laughs> so I'm super, super excited to see sort of like where this goes and sort of like what what we're going to get from this show either way. Um, and I'm excited to see where it goes for Clint Button because obviously, again, we didn't get a lot of story in terms of, yeah, his character. Unfortunately, he was sort of like the one sidelined a lot of the time, um, not really the important one, only brought out in Ultron and then obviously a little bit in Endgame, but not much. Um, so I'm hoping to really dig into his character and see more of him. Because I loved him in a lot of animated, like, the character. I love the, um, the animated versions that we've seen. But I would love to see more come out from this particular character. Obviously the real life version in the, in the TV show. Anyway, that's enough. Let's jump into this right now because I'm super excited and yeah. We got a lot to cover, so let's do it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Ooh. Oh! That's a beautiful house. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> God, this is so cringy. It really is Broadway. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Watch this show. I mean, I know everyone misses her, but she was your best friend. It's... Oh, the daughter's so sweet. Nice to see you. 
Oh, did he move in? Oh, that's cold. Oh, I feel bad for her, dude. You look amazing. Oh, that's so sweet, though, that, like, Clint wants to be there for his kids. So sweet. I love that. Oh. That must be a, that must be a weird thing, because, I mean, we've seen that with sort of, like, with Bucky, and we've seen that with um, Falcon. Sort of like the I. It's sort of like almost like celebrity sort of like culture, where it's like in the in the theater you have the guy waiting to get a photo with you in the most weird like aspects or like the weirdest situations, and then you have like sort of like yeah like moments in musicals and stuff like that. And it's like oh my god, the amount of PTSD this man must be getting from moments like this. It's like yeah nah. Um, but I was going to say, um, yeah, we're just, I love how, like, because we, we saw only a little bit of this, but I love the amount of love Clint has for his kids, especially because this is such a big character trait. He always makes sure that he finishes the mission so he can go back to his family. Like, that's such a beautiful notion, especially because, yes, some of the other Avengers have family. For example, like, Tony did, like, with, um, I was about to say Gwyneth Paltrow, um, with Peppa. Oh my god, wait, he's from Outland. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you say he likes the wedding, so he won't be competing. What wedding? You don't know. Ellen and Jack. Oh no. Jesus. Can't imagine what it must feel like. The fact that she didn't tell her. Oh, here we go. I hate how she's like, not blaming it on her, but how she's like, be happy for me, even though you're not. It's like, there are some parents that are like that. Oh, no. <gasps> Bobby! I love that this is like the theme of Christmas throughout the whole thing, throughout all the music and stuff. It's cute. Ooh. She's cool. No, but in a way, I find that so funny though. Cause even I was um I was watching a review of like um an old James Bond film and it was saying like James Bond being so confident that he belongs in any place he walks in. So this sort of reminds me of that like superheroes just pretending to be confident and blending in. Like even the clothing, obviously, that's a bonus, but like she like it happens so many times in like in like spy films and in superhero movies where they they just pretend to be confident in the place where they're not supposed to be. I love it. Like that's something I like really picked on now ever since I watched that review and I was like, yeah, that's so true. <laughs> I'm Gary. <laughs> What's your name? You see, that's the problem, Gary. You don't even know my name. You know, I this this is just, I'm, this is not gonna work out. I quit. You can't quit. Come on. <laughs> I love that so much! Excuse me. Yes, Queen! Sneaky little thing. There's compound. Now you may know. Oh! The criminal underworld of this city. Almost completely annihilated. That's some um, Clint Sword! Thank you, sir. Do I hear 300? 300 looking for 350. What are you doing, you dope? Combine that sword. You don't have 300 grand. No, but I'll have to one day and then. 350. 350, right here. Oh, he's marrying her for the money. Thank you so much. Wine bottles, a great use of a weapon. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh my god. No, Dougie, no! Move! 
Oh my god, Dougie! Wish they had a whole movie exploring the whole Ronin thing. That would have been sick. Food, you want food? Uh, of course. Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Rich man, that's what. Oh my god. Damn, I love the way this is filmed. Like a true, like, horror mystery. I love that. Is that Clint? Oh yeah, I think it is. Nice, dude! <laughs> Fantastic first episode! Well, that was great! Like, I'm- me wait, hold on, let me check. Is there anything- Just in case first episode- Okay, there's nothing. Just double checking. But- Dude, that was a fantastic introduction to this show. I'm hooked already. A murder mystery Christmas show? Heck to the year! I am signed in! <laughs> I think the, the beginning was a little bit slow, but um, after that, like, sort of like after that whole prologue area and sort of after the whole bell, bell thing, it was quick pacing. I loved it. And the whole, like, sort of like the gala and then the secret, like, rendezvous sort of thing where they have, like, the secret auction. Love that. That's like, it reminds me sort of of Uncharted because that's what's in the games. That's very Uncharted-like. But... I'm going to talk about it more in the second episode at the very end because this is what I usually do. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in that one. Crazy Finger out! Woo!